Hello everyone, good afternoon. So back to the, our slide, just a second. The second part of to our slides presentations uh, will be on the physical activities. Physical activities uh, play an important role in reducing the limitation experienced by individuals with intellectual disabilities due to immobility, ensuring their physical, social, and health development and interacting with the society. Um, because intellectual with disabilities, individuals with the ideas the, uh, suffer the physical or motor development, they have some limitation. This limitation uh, ca can affect, can negatively affect their health, also social relationship. This is the lack of opportunity at the same time interacting with others, okay? Physical activities is defined as voluntary body movements produced by the skeleton and muscles that require energy expenditure. Physical activities are among the activities we frequently perform in daily life. Examples include walking, playing games, playing games, person or with a group, you know, the playing a basketball, playing a football or, or tennis or uh, something else. Leisure time activities, sports and exercises, shop, uh, shopping, daily housework, climbing and uh, descending stairs. Yeah, shopping is very really interesting. The world is spending the the faster money, you find it as a shopping skills. It's really interesting. Let's see the uh, video physical activities for children. Uh, I need to switch another. I'm sorry. I'm not so good technology. Yeah. The Living Series, Physical Activity for Young Children. What is the difference between exercise and physical activity? Exercise is a kind of physical activity. It is planned, sustained, and also requires certain skills. On the other hand, Physical activity refers to any bodily movement produced by our muscles that results in energy expenditure. It includes daily activities of different types and intensity levels. Physical activity has many benefits. It improves social skills, maintains good health and a healthy body weight, enhances movement and coordination, contributes to brain development and strengthens learning ability, promotes muscle and bone development, improves sleep quality. Staying active with your children can increase their amount of physical activity and foster a better parent-child relationship. How much physical activity do young children need every day? Young children aged two to six should accumulate at least 180 minutes of physical activity every day, which can be split into intervals. How can young children achieve the goal of engaging in physical activity for 180 minutes every day?
Does watching TV or playing video games considered as a physical activity? No, these screen time activities are sedentary. Excessive screen time reduces the amount of physical activity <laughs> and leads to obesity. It even affects children's development of bones, vision, motor skills, and language ability. Having too much screen time not only makes it possible for children to imitate inappropriate behavior, but also affects their sleep as well as social and communication skills. Screen time recommendations. For children aged two to five, their total time spent watching TV and using computer, tablet computer, and smartphone should be limited to one hour every day. The screen time activity should be interactive and educative and be carried out under the guidance of parents. Active young children are healthier, happier, and can adapt to school life more easily. Let's sit less, move more, and play together. Yeah. Physical activity is to protect the mental and physical health of individuals, prevent many diseases and obesity, and positively affect the participation of individuals in social life. On the contrary, as sedentary lifestyles accelerates the emerge of metabolic risk uh, risk factors, uh, metabolic risk factors such as diabetes, paves to the paves the way for emergence uh, of cardiovascular disease in early years. According to uh, WHO, approximately 730,000 people in the world die each year due to disease caused by inception of physical activities. Inadequate physical activity, which has negative effects on the health of many people in the world, also lead to some health problems such as cardiovascular, obesity, resp respiratory, the same words again come came musculoskeletal and the musculoskeletal disorders fortunately i pronounce it in individual with intellectual disabilities individual with idea are among the groups of that exhibit a low level of participation in physical activities due to limitation in motor development or disease accompanying the musculoskeletal system. The skills necessary for individuals with ID to maintain their lives independently are only possible through the independent performance of physical activities, as well as being a prior request for independent living skill. Physical activities also contribute to the prevention of chronic health problems, such as cardiovascular disease. Therefore, regular physical activities will not only accelerate the development of the musculoskeletal system of individuals with ID, but will also contribute to an increase in quality of life in a long term, in a lifespan. Benefit of physical activities. Individuals with ID have lower physical activity intensity when compared to their peers. Uh, because they have some limitation, you know, the, depending on the day of motor development. So this limitation uh, is a uh, cut or reducing the social interaction, you know, the uh, environmental or socially. Therefore, physical activities have direct effects on the physical health of individuals with ID, as well as indirect positive effect on the social psychological developments. Uh, providing the doing them of the physically active means uh, they can be a more healthier, also socially interactive, you know. These physical benefits can be listed as providing muscle and bone development, protecting the muscular and skeletal structure, in terms of tissues and the flexibility, making posture appropriate, accelerating fine and gross motor development, 
increasing the fitness and endurance of individual by providing the habit of moving, ensuring body smoothness and balance, regulating body blood pressure, blood pressure, pressure, and preventing cardi cardiovascular disease in long term, improving respiratory capacity and quality. In addition, physical activities accelerate the metabolism trend or obesity in, in the individual with or without disabilities. The effect of physical activities in terms of social development have positive effects, uh, pro, uh, enabling uh, the individual to express himself or herself in society, interacting with our others, you know, the, uh, meeting the new people, uh, you know, it's like a communication area uh, where uh, doing a physical activities and a place. Uh, adapting to society and increasing social acceptance, developing the individual's independent living skills, preventing the individual from the social isolation. Psychologically, you know, the many, many benefits, many, many positive effect we can say, uh, less stress, you know, and the last pressure if actively physical and doing to some physical activities the self as improve the self esteem self confidence like increase the uh, life satisfaction and quality also negative reducing the negative psychological factors you know, the, as i said you know it's, uh, first of stress and the uh, increasing the attention span Physical activities, activity intensity is really important and checked by some measurements method. Uh, physical activity and exercise should be planned individually, considering the health status and the physical characteristics of the individuals. In individual specific program programs, the individuals, individuals physical activity performance, level of progress in activities duration and intensity of activity should be taken into uh, into the, the those concentration you know the uh, individual concentration individual ability or sufficiency of the body the choosing the correct activities or times duration of the physical activities you know the, the kids adolescents and uh, middle age or a, uh, elderly people can choose, should choose the different type of activities depending on the their age, individual capacity, body capacity I'm talking about. Changes can be made in duration and intensity of physical activities according to the performance and the progress. Uh, to calculate the intensity of physical activities in a professional exercise program, the amount of energy of body expense for one minute of activity is used. Physical activities are classified as light, moderate, and vigorous intensity. Uh, these, these activities according to the day metabolic equivalent. Physical activities with a metabolic equivalent of energy expenditure of three or less are classified as light intensity physical activities. Example of this type of activity includes, uh, for example, uh, walking at a normal pace, simple housework. We do not require too much effort uh, in which the heart rate or respiratory rate are slightly above the equivalent of energy expenditure. These are, these are, uh, this type of activity. Uh, cause and increase the respiration and heart steam require moderate effort. For example, brisk, wa brisk walking and jogging, dancing, dancing, core washing uh, be, can be classified to uh, be part of these activities. Yes, yeah, still beneficial, you know, the core washing or just walking, you know, uh, really, really beneficial, you know, the just stop and the, the, uh, uh, sitting the whole days in a, in a home or a place better than the unmoment or uh, you know the stability uh, high intensity physical activities are are those with the metabolic equivalent of energy expenditure of six units me or more 
it causes a significant increase in respiration and heart rhythm, heart rhythm, and requires a lot of effort. Walking and jogging at a face pace, high level walking uh, on a treadmill, playing playing tennis, swimming or activities in these groups. You know the kind of activities that need to do more more rooms and spending the high calories. You know can classify to higher high intensity physical activities. Let's see together the table, the metabolic co-wiling and the cellular activities. Maybe these are can show us the you know the what is the, our current level, what we have to do for the next level. Light intensity sleeping and resting, you know, just 0.9 ME. If your ME the higher or increasing, this means that your activity level is uh, getting higher, getting higher, okay? Or 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 vice versa. ME decreasing, this means you 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 start to being a more stable, you know, not move, not an activity. Sleeping and resting, watching TV one. Lighthouse, those are the you know the light intensity activities such as personal hygiene and care, writing, reading, clerical work, walking at a slow pace, moderate intensity activities using exercise bike, gardening, you know, planting the fruits, vegetables, or flower or treats, you know, the care. Uh, home exercise, simple gymnastic moments. Walking uh, with a normal pace, cycling, car wash, dancing, and the last one, the rigorous intensity uh, activities. Walking per day, for example, or when you are the walking the uh, you know with a specific target, not the walking the from somewhere to some another place. You know the for doing the rigorous intensity, intensity. For example, seven and at least seven kilometers, the climbing stairs, uh, brisk walking, moderate jogging, weightlifting, tennis, swimming, or jumping rope, rope, rope uh, classified the rigorous intensity activities. We enjoy World Health Organization recommends different intensity of physical activities for individuals with normal development and typical development period, uh, people. Accordingly, it is appropriate for individuals age 5 to, uh, to 17 years old. At least one hour, you know, moderate intensity physical activities uh, should be done the, for, per day. Individual age uh, 18 or over are recommended perform moderate intensity physical activities at least five days a week, 30 minutes each day, totally 20 points, uh, 20, 20 and a half uh, hours per week. Uh, per week. Uh, and high intensity activities at least one and a half hours per, per week three days uh, and 30 minutes equal nine minutes. Uh, Constrict the heart status, physical characteristic, heart dream, and respir respiratory characteristic and the age of in in individual with intellectual disability, intensity of physical activities should be planned. You know, the, these are our indicators. Type of physical activities, depending on the feature of improving the physical fitness, physical activities are generally categorized under four headings, endurance, strength, flexibility, and balance, balance exercises. In individual with ideal physical activities should be carried out to appropriate time, frequency, and intensity depending on the individual's conditions, considering cardiac and respiratory de deficiencies or, uh, or 
maybe accompanying health problems uh, or and each of in individuals should be considered you know the one planet the activity type operations endurance exercise are large muscle exercise based on rhythmic repetition that increase the body capacity to use oxygen and to regulate blood pressure the aim of endurance exercises is to do maintain a physical activity for a long time without fatigue while performing these active exercises a planning should be made by considering the age and physical fitness of individual and considering uh, the appropriate time frequency and intensity example of endurance exercise for individuals with intellectual disabilities include risks regular walk, swimming, cycling, using bicycle and the fitness equipment, doing home or doing home or garden work. Uh, those are, you know, the requires the body strength, those requires the body strength moving or different level. Strength uh, exercise uh, performed with the aim of increasing the strength of the individual. Strength can be expressed as a muscle power that provides resistance. Muscular strength is required to lift a bag from the floor to carry a certain weight, to pull or push an object. As a person's muscle strength increases, they can lift more weight, pull an object faster and push it further. Strength exercise are ex uh, exercise are exercises that increase muscle contraction, uh, contraction and resistance forces. Strength exercises strengthen our muscle and bones. They reduce body fat and increase the muscle and bone mass. Weight training, push ups and the sit ups, climbing up and downstairs, indoor activities for the whole. Uh, uh, indoors activities, you know, the in doing something in a gymnasium centers, you know, for example. Um, yeah, another type of exercise, flexibility exercises. Flexibility is the ability to give the joints and the joint related structure a range of motivation in order to perform a certain physical activity. Having a flexible body provides freedom of movement in daily work. There are separate flexibility exercises for each joint. When planning flexibility exercise for individuals with intellectual disabilities, uh, Exercises uh, may include the physical activities such as slow and brisk walks, running, jumping, throwing, catching, pushing, and pulling. Uh, the four types of exercise are balance exercises. Balance exercises are exercises that improve body, body ability to stand without falling, more properly and to move the body in coordination. Bad balance also depends on the heart sense of balance in vision and inner ear and adequate muscle and bone strength. Balance is the prerequisite requ skill for the performance of different types of psychomotor skills, such as walking, running, jumping, and skipping. In order to improve body balance in individuals with intellectual disabilities, exercises, may include the walking with eye open and close, walking on toes and heels, walking on to a straight line, moving at trombling, uh, walking uh, on the floors and surface of the different structures like that. Stages of physical activities uh, can divide uh, can be divided the four components elements. The first warms ups, conditioning, cool down, and strength stretching. Uh, physical activities. Um,
Yeah. Let's explain the, what does uh, these elements means. Warms up low intensity activities, uh, ranging from five, 10 minutes. Uh, conditioning phase, which target the performance 20 or 60 minutes. Uh, And after completing the, the their activities, the the, kind of the periods cool, cool down during the conditioning phase. High body temperature increases the heart rate and body temperature. So this phase has to be done. You know, the cool down, the, the body uh, blood pressure and the heart rate rhythms there. Uh, this phase consists of breathing as the style lasting between five and 10 minutes, light flexible moments, or walking at a slow pace should be prepared. Not immediately stop the, you know, the physical activities. Definitely cool down, you know, the must be part of the, your uh, physical activity schedule. And stretching, you know, the, again, after the cooling time, for stretching to your muscle bodies, you know, the uh, preparing the next, the preparing to your body to, to rest, but stretching the, uh, also protect you, uh, protect you uh, further, further problems. Uh, you can resort to 10 minutes, you know, the stretching. You need to stretch to your muscle groups and finish to your physical activities. Physical activities, yeah, this, I think there's still, uh, there are some information, uh, some details about physical activities. Uh, let pass. Let's skip it. Maybe you can you can follow later the, the slides. Yeah, assessment. Yeah. Let's uh, assess the methods or how, how can we assess the physical activities level by using the, this uh, table. For example, Cretaceous uh, evaluation method, criterion methods, the observation, direct colorimetry, indirect colorimetry, two stage measurement methods, uh, objective methods, heart monitoring, pedometer, accelerometer, stable meter. Uh, the, this table listed the advantage or disadvantage of the, those methods. Subjective methods to diary, your diaries, you know, the, what you done today, for example. Record charts, questionnaire or retrospective data. You can use the three different categories, categorized method, you know, to assess to your physical activity level. Thank you so much to, until the next presentation. I wish for everyone to have a great day.